This is what they're calling the world's smallest LFP power station in this size class. So this is, you know, 600. It's actually 662 watt hours. And so, you know, the one thing looking at this, you know, it does look pretty small, right? I mean, it looks, actually, it looks pretty similar to that Anchor 548 that I just took a look at, right? That mini power station from Anchor. But this thing is not quite as small. I mean, it's nowhere near as small. It's huge, actually. Look at this thing. Um, yeah, so 17 pounds, a little over 17 pounds. That's, I guess you could say that's still light for this size class, right? I mean, the Jackery 700 Plus, that new little Jackery, um, has almost the same battery capacity as 22 pounds, right? So, you know, I guess it is pretty light, but I mean, it's just not, it's just not anything comparable to like that Anchor 54A, right? And now this form factor has some pros and cons, right? Uh, so we'll kind of talk about that a little bit more at the end of the video. Let's, let's get into the, some of the specs here. So yes, you know, we do get the LFP batteries, 662 watt hours. Uh, this here, they actually, they screwed this up. This is supposed to be 600 watt continuous. You know, it's a 600 watt pure sine wave inverter. They do mention it has a proper 1200 watt surge on it. And then for USB, we do get, you know, pretty decent, pretty decent options here. There is one 100 watt USB-C. It's not bi-directional or anything, but still, you know, 100 watts. And then, you know, obviously just, we get a total of six. So I like to see a lot of USB ports. We do get that. Now, one thing to note, there's no quick charge USB-A's. So that's kind of, and then we do get, you know, the typical 12 volt outlets. One thing to note, there's only a DC input for charging. So yes, it does have a power brick and they actually mentioned the specs here. It's 180 watt cap. And so that's, you know, whether you're using the power brick or solar, it's 180 watts is the most you can put into it. And they do say up to 10 amps. Now they didn't give the actual voltage, but it's probably just the standard voltage, right? Maybe 24 volts, maybe 28 volts, something like that. Now to talk about some of the more interesting features of this unit, the first one is this, this light on the back. So it's actually removable. And what's really nice about this design is the way it's integrated into the unit. So it's magnetic, it attaches, you know, and when it's inserted into the unit, the unit can control it. So, you know, you can control it just like it's a regular built-in light, but then you can remove it. It has little pins that, you know, when it's attached with the magnet that connect. So, and that also keeps it charged up as well. So it's not just, I've kind of seen some other power stations have like a, a light like this, but it's just totally separate and you'd have to charge it with USB and stuff like that. So this is just really nice to have it integrated like that. You use it with the unit or you use it without the unit. And then we do get this really nice, uh, it's small, but you know, it's very colorful LCD display screen. And the little thing that they note here is that these little lines here that kind of create this X pattern on top, it's like, you know, the color range on that 26 million colors, you know, basically they're saying that those change colors depending on what you're doing. So it's just kind of a nice little accent to have. And they actually claim that this gives you a sense of technology. So. Now, just to kind of go back and talk about the design here, the form factor really real quick. So, you know, there's pros and cons with this. Um, you know, basically, if you want to have this set on like your desk or even on a countertop, right, it's appealing because it's got a small footprint. It's not going to take up a lot of space. But the thing is, because it's so tall, um, unless you're like a really tall person, like six, six, maybe six, eight, maybe, you're not going to be able to see the display screen, really. You know what I mean? But you can, you know, obviously access the ports quite well. And because it has this tall, narrow form factor, you can carry it with one hand. This is just really nice to be able to walk with it. Just have it, you know, down by your side and be able to walk normally with it in your hand. And, you know, it's just, it's, it's not a big wide unit that you kind of got to carry. And they do mention that the side panels on this thing actually are aluminum. So I like to see aluminum on these power stations. Helps keep the, the internals cool, right? And it just, it usually just looks nice, feels nice, cold to the touch. And they also say that this passes a UL drop test. So yeah, kind of a cool little power station, that form factor, the colorful display, you know, that, that might, it might just put you in a good mood, you know, looking at it. Uh, we do get decent output ports, decent battery capacity. The charging is a little slow, you know, but still 180 watts, you know, it's usable. And that little light that gives you some versatility. So, and I think the, you know, the design of this thing, it's a, it's attractive. It's an attractive unit. So yeah, hopefully you just kind of found this overview helpful, interesting, and yeah, thanks for watching.